After a couple of weeks, we finally left Cebu City on our way to Shargao Island. We flew from Cebu City to Surya City. Anywhere in country that we flew, the planes are made for Filipino people size, Filipino sized people. And I'm six foot four. He didn't fit. I don't fit. It was really funny watching him squish into this little seat. <laughs> I was comfortable. So our whole time in the Philippines, we've noticed that as we travel, um, things start to get a little bit stickier with testing for COVID and stuff like that. By the time we had finished our time in Cebu, they were taking your temperature before you go into any building, um, any restaurant, any mall, they were starting to take temperatures. So when we landed in Surigao, it was a bit of a bigger deal. They made us write down anywhere we had been in the last few weeks, um, where we were from, our what numbers, our in case our numbers in case they had to contact yeah. us, and then our temperatures. And when we got there, the first thing we did was buy a banana churro. A banana wrapped in kind of like spring roll paper with chocolate. Because we couldn't find banana churro in Cebu City. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're missing. We had the best Airbnb host, host. Orlando. And he heard that we wanted banana churro. Um, and on our way back from picking us up from the airport, he stopped and got us banana churro. He helped us get our ferry tickets. He was really nice. Yeah, he was awesome. And that banana churro was really mm -hmm. good. And then he actually invited us to his house. So we just got here to uh, Sergio City, and uh, the owner of the Airbnb we're staying at, he dropped us off at our uh, at the Airbnb, which is right back there. It looks not so nice from the outside, but it's really nice on the inside. And he says, "Come hang out at my house for a bit. It's the nicest house in Sergio City." So we're just walking this little goat trail here. To go uh, hang out at his place. But uh, he took us back to his house that's surrounded by these man-made lakes where he grows fish and gave us all kinds of fruit we've never eaten before and as, as well as coconuts to drink and we just hung out. Had a fun chill time. Yep, kind of watched the sunset and uh, got an early night sleep because the next morning we were up at 3.30 in the morning. It's 3.30. We're gonna have to wake the kids up and get going because we're heading to Shargao, baby. And that was because I wanted to save $20 on ferry tickets. Mm -hmm. We're getting up this early to save 20 bucks. That was my idea. We could have left at 10 a.m. Where are we going? I don't know. Sergio. Come on, buddy. Hey. 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 Wake up. Jacob. Gotta get up, buddy. Why? Hmm? Why? Because we're going to Shargao. Why? Hmm? Why? Why? Because Daddy wanted to save 20 bucks on a boat ticket. Princess? Baby girl? Aren't 
those things. Mosquitoes. Oh no. They were sucking on her. What? William, come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> that I've blotted that out from it. It was, you know what? They were they were good. They didn't cry. They didn't complain much. It's just they like, good. but remember how many times we had to go get William? <laughs> yes. I was like, William, come on. Did I know that it was only $20 that we were saving? I think that I was my like choice. I kept that from me. <laughs> and it was a bad choice. 20 bucks is not a lot of money. And uh, to wake four kids up at 3.30 is not fun. <laughs> Jesse was just so excited to get there. I was. I was really excited to get to Chargao. This is like... We, we booked three weeks in Chargao. It was our number one destination. I love surfing and it's like, I just wanted to get there so badly. I guess getting there two hours early was, no, five hours early. That's a big deal. That's worth it. But here's one thing about the Philippines is you can wake up at five in the morning or three in the morning and there's like pumping loud music in that mm -hmm. car. Do you remember when that car yeah. picked us up? It's like in Canada, it's like you don't turn on music and, until well, like... Well, maybe it'd be some nice like orchestra. You get some nice quiet, quiet music in the morning. But in the Philippines, it's like... <laughs> like five in the... No, it was 3.30 in the morning when we, he picked us up at four. It helped us wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we uh, went to the ferry terminal, caught our ferry at 5 a.m. We ended up first getting on the wrong boat. Do you remember that? Going on a boat, going on a boat, but not that boat, that's the wrong boat. We're going on that boat. Who knows where that would have taken us. <laughs> Good thing we didn't get on that boat. <laughs> and then it was off to Chargao Island. So we arrived in Chargao. This was our destination. This was our top spot. This was what I was looking forward to since we left Canada. And I was, we were so excited to be there. It, right away we could tell that it was amazing. I could tell that this was my favorite place. And I felt like we were home. I felt like we could have lived there forever. <laughs> but first impressions of Sure go. I think we're home. But unfortunately, as you'll see next week, that was very short-lived. Make sure you watch next week when disaster strikes and everything changes, the rug gets pulled out from underneath us and we have to get out of the country quick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you'll like our last video. So please click right here to watch our last video. And click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching. So the light was uh, starting to shine on our faces. So we got our uh, special uh, lighting man here. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. Thanks, Jacob. Yay. Okay, you're done. Yay. <laughs>